Well, when you consider that half the world's population gets their period once a month, the taboos about even uttering the word period, they're pretty ridiculous. A new book for teens and tweens aims to change all that. It is called Your Moon Time Magic, A Girl's Guide to Getting Your Period and Loving Your Body. And author Maureen Teresa Smith is here in the studio to tell us all about it. Welcome Hi. to Bay Area Focus. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I love that you have this book because as women and girls, when we do go through that time, it's we don't talk about it. Right. And especially we don't talk about it around men. Right. But this is okay to talk about. It's so okay to talk about. And it's so important to be talking about it and really normalize the conversation because it's really, it's something that it's natural, it's normal, it's your body's natural function, and we all just need to get over it. Yes, that's true. <laughs> so what inspired you to write this book, and why do you call it your moon time magic? So what inspired me originally, I wrote this book in 2004 under a different title. It was called First Moon. And at that time, I'm, I'm the youngest of seven. I have a million sisters and so many nieces and nephews, and I really wanted to give it as a gift to my nieces to celebrate and support this time of adolescence in their lives. And I, I wanted to really provide it as a, as a gift to menstruators to really have a map to follow, that when they get their periods, it's something that in other cultures are celebrating all over the world, not everywhere, but there are stories of moontime mythology where people are greeted with their moontime with festivities and festivals, and I really wanted to include those examples in the book as a way to dispel the stigma and the negative negativity around it. You know, in my family, when the, there were mostly women in my family, and when they would go, when we would get our period, then we were... Um, we were invited to the big table, uh -huh. to the adult table oh, wow. for those conversations. That was kind of the rite of passage for that. And a lot of cultures will, you know, have their own, right. but yet we're still not talking in depth about it. Right, right. And I think that we need to more and more. For example, it could be, you know, in sex ed during school for boys and girls to be there together to really normalize the conversation. Because when you think about it, a young woman, her body is changing. This is out of her control. And if you are, you're confronted with changing body, with these like images of perfection to live up to, and then at the same time, these negative stigmas around a woman's natural bodily functions, that's a lot to confront. Mm -hmm. And so instead, like just knowing it's normal, it's natural, and in fact, like Gloria Steinman used to say, you know, if men had their period, <laughs> we would have a national holiday every month, you know? <laughs> like, let, like, let's get rid of the stigma right. and really, give young women the information that they need about how their bodies work, how these physical changes can impact their mental, emotional state. Mm -hmm. And then they have agency for themselves when they see their healthcare practitioner. They're not embarrassed, they don't have to be ashamed about it, but they can feel confident in their body and ask for what they need and ask for the information that they need. Yeah, it's so good for the girls and then also um, for you know dads. My husband, he lives with four females and a male dog, but four females. We have three daughters, and so, yeah, he hears these conversations all the time. It's, he's so immune to it now. It's great, mm -hmm. that's great. I mean, dads ask me a lot, like, well, how do, I, how do I do this with my daughter? You know, they wanna do and say the right thing so much, and I think the main thing they can do is they can read the book to have their own information, like what really happens. It's important for everyone to know. And also just be there with a supportive, positive attitude. Mm -hmm. So in the book, you discuss period poverty. What is that? So many places in the world still today, a young woman will stop going to school when she get their, gets her period, either because she doesn't have access to menstrual products or the shame and the stigma or both. And many places here in the US, period hygiene products are too expensive and we still have something called a period tax, which means that mm -hmm. um, pads and tampons are looked at as like, um, as luxuries. Luxury, mm -hmm. luxuries, when they're just essentials like toilet paper, right? right. And so um, it's important to have free access to period products for all people and all menstruators. And, and that's a really crucial thing. Yesterday, I was so thrilled because I got to interview this group of students on a podcast called Shh Periods, and they're from the Bronx at um, uh, Brooklyn Charter School. And at their school, there, there wasn't access to pads and tampons, 
and they actually had to raise their hand and ask for a marshmallow if they needed a pad. Oh boy. And it just got so crazy. So they, this group of teens created a podcast to talk about it and fight that stigma within their school. And they won a podcast award for That's NPR great. Podcast of the Year. That's and great. they've really changed that. So now there's free access within their school. So quickly before we go, the three most important things that girls should know about getting their periods. It's normal, it's natural, it's to be supported and celebrated. And really, if you think about it, every month uh, your body is going through a cycle to prepare you for a possible pregnancy. And even though you may not be ready for pregnancy or want a pregnancy, if you tune in and you get to know and understand your physical changes, your moods, and you can bring other creations to life. And well, I think that's pretty magical. Maureen, it is so great for you to be here and have this open conversation that I think we all need to have. It's great. Thank you for having me and talking about it. Yes. Period so, positivity. There you go. We like that. Period <laughs> positivity. All right. Check out MoontimeMagic.com to continue this conversation. And remember, the book is Your Moontime Magic, A Girl's Guide to Getting Your Period and Loving Your Body. And it is available on Amazon and at independent bookstores nationwide. And that's going to do it for our show this week. But we We'll be back with more Bay Area Focus next week. You can check us out on our website, kpix.com slash Bay Area Focus. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.